to Home and Stanners. Now it's morning here anyways. Today we're going to cover this dust collection system. I had some people asking questions about this and there is this same thing on uh, YouTube. That's how I discovered it. There's a couple people making uh, these on YouTube and showing you how. So I just kind of give you a quick review of this guy. Uh, it works really well, separates the most of the sawdust and the bigger chips and everything into this five gallon bucket here and some of the fine stuff gets in there but not a lot so it, if you're used to just using the shop back this will totally amaze you because it really works well so this is called a dust stopper i'm going to take this off this little these fittings these fittings and this little short hose come with this and then this is the hose that came with my vacuum. I bought an extra length here that I've added to it so I can drag it around my shop to all my different tools. When I use it, I just disconnect it, connect it. It didn't take very long, and it's really worth it for me not to breathe that stuff. So this is called a dust stopper. It's, it's called a dust stopper, if you can see that or not. And then here's a bunch of baffles. Nothing spins in here, but this thing is really amazing. It catches a lot of stuff. And it mounts right to a five-gallon bucket. Easy. I put a little catch back here. Keep the bucket from moving around too much. You don't really need to do that. But I'll take the bucket out. And this is just a piece of plywood I cut. And I cut this hole out. Just so this lip on your five gallon buckets rests on top of this hole in the plywood. So I used one and a half inch PVC just to give me more clearance around here. Some people can use two inch depending on the type of vac in your setup. And I got uh, two inch adapters, two inch to inch and a half adapters here. The two inch fit over the feet. Here, I'm gonna take this apart and show you how that works. Pretty easy to disassemble. Now you can get into your vacuum and empty that out or clean the filter anyways. There's not gonna be much in the tank. Most of your filter needs to be cleaned once every two or three buckets full of uh, sawdust. So I cut for my implements here, cut some holes in here, made a, uh, a cord reel kind of take up some of the slack on this thing and so you want to measure this you cut your hole in here you're going to want to measure this so the bottom of this so the bottom of this bucket will clear the top of your vacuum cleaner by a couple of inches anyways so i got to take this off and take the lid off anyways it's not that difficult these feet will go right down here onto here just like just like that and then up top coming in here and take a look at this up top up here this is just a a cap a one and a half inch cap and they drill the hole in there to accept a quarter 20 so i got a quarter 20 with a locking nut on the bottom, which holds these to the plywood. So you just want to space them out, measure your tank, space them out so they clear your tank, and everything's nice and straight. So that's about it for this guy. You want to make sure you've got all your implements in there. you got your hose here. It's on the top of the tank. Once again, this comes with the, the kit. Get it at Home Depot. So that's that guy. And this is my hose to the rest of the for all my shop implements. And I'll take this. I'll take up some of the slack on my cord around this guy. Here, and this is really important here. 
this guy up here is a, I don't know if you want to get a better shot of this. This is a remote control uh, receptacle. So you just plug it into a normal receptacle. You may have plug it. You plug it into a normal receptacle. It's got an on off switch here so you can manually turn it on and off. And this will link up to a remote control. We'll plug this in. And uh, so this is the remote control that comes with it. And uh, I just turned the vacuum on. I'm going to turn it on for a second. Turn it off. Works pretty slick. So if you get one of these re remote controlled outlets uh, off of uh, eBay or Amazon, make sure that you uh, check the amperage. Make sure that it's going to handle the load. If you don't, it's just going to burn up pretty quick on you. So these are uh, rated pretty good. Not that expensive either. So anyways, it saves your shop, saves your lungs, keeps you from cleaning up a lot. And mostly it keeps your uh, filter pretty darn clean. And uh, I think it works really good.